Hey you guys, today I'm going to do my Jumpstart January uh, Q&A shout out end of the month, last video of January. Well not last video because I got to do Real Housewives, but yeah, I want to do a Q&A and shout out video for my last Jumpstart January video. So, here we go and they're going to be mixed together because I just looked at the list and I just wrote everything down like probably as they was written, but um... Yeah, shout out goes to Ken and Key. Um, they have a YouTube channel and they are hilarious. They're best friends and they, I, I like them. I love they Bean Boozle Challenge video. That shit was hilarious. But yeah, they do videos here and there. But make sure you guys go check out um, Ken and Key. And I hope to see you guys at the blackout this year. I just want to meet y'all, period, because I've been, you know, y'all been following me and supporting me for a long time and stuff like that, and then when you guys made y'all channel, I start supporting y'all, so I would love to meet you guys. Um, my little brother, J. Darrell Hunt, if y'all have not checked out his channel, I swear, I, just his intro get me to moving, like, I'd be like, hey... Hey, I'm telling y'all, his intro is everything, but he do reality reviews, he just talks, he a good person, um, I just adopted him as my little brother as soon as, like, we met each other online, like, I just love him, he has a really, really sweet spirit, he was just recently ill, and I was praying for you, boo, really I was, um, but I hope you guys go check out his channel, his channel is hilarious, um, Shout out to Armadillo. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, thanks for the love and thanks for the nice words and stuff like that. So, yeah. Shout out to you, boo. Um, there were some more people that I wanted to shout out. Because there's some people that's going to do shout outs with questions. So, shout out to Nays Way. That's my sis in Florida. Make sure you guys checking out her channel. It's N A Y S. W A I Nays Way. Um give it to you raw, uncut, don't care. Um yeah. I I love her channel. Make sure you guys check her out. And she really speak on a lot of social issues that's going on in the world. So yeah, give you her raw and uncut opinion. Um these special shout outs go to three people because this week, well, like since New Year's Eve, it seemed like every day I had been getting hit with stuff, like the death of my grandma, my big mama, um, my cousin had got ill right after the funeral of my big mama, and he, um, was put on a breathing, uh, he couldn't breathe, so they had to put him on a ventilator and stuff like that, so still pray for my family, because they going through, I've been going, th it, it's, Something happened, like, the night of my birthday, and I had to, I haven't even talked about it yet, but I had to hurry up and move out my place, because the night of my birthday, something happened, and I just had to hurry up and move and get my kids out that situation. So, um, I've been going through, just going through, financially, like, oh my god, like, shit, I can't even catch my fucking balance like seem like but um these three people like been reaching out to me praying with me talking with me um and stuff like that and I don't really let a lot of people know what I'm going through because I feel like shit that's just not me I just I'm the person that I want to uplift other people's spirits so um but Marquez Johnson that's my little brother he always send me little um, text messages telling me that he's thinking about me, he's praying for me, care for me, and stuff like that. So, you know, I have such a big heart for you. I love you. Um, there's nothing that I would not do for you. Um, but yeah, we gonna turn up at the blackout. I know that. Um, Lady Nika has also been reaching out to me, and it's just a blessing for YouTubers just to reach out when you're going through something. Um, even if we, you ain't going through something, for you know, for YouTubers to reach out to me when I'm not doing a video, you know, just to say, hey, how you doing, check up on you, just have a conversation, it's just, it's, I needed it. I needed it, especially at the time where we were texting each other and stuff. I really needed that. Um, 
Compton native. She's my girl. I can't wait her for her to get here. Um, she's always here in Vegas, so I can't wait for her to come back so we could hook up and chill again and stuff like that. That's my girl. We always text each other, and it don't be on, like, no YouTube stuff. It just be about life and being mothers and being just cool. So, them three text messages this week, like, really lifted my spirits to even get me out the house yesterday with my kids because I had to take my kids to a fashion show yesterday and I really wasn't up for it but when people reach out to you randomly you just be like get up don't let what you're going through destroy your day so we went to this fashion show yesterday and my kids had a great time so shout out to you guys for you know just just reaching out you know it, it, it just means a lot um and I know some people probably like girl I ain't got your number it's not like that. Um, but they had my number and they just reached out in the time that I needed them to. Okay, now here comes the questions. Hmm. Oh, nothing was bad, so that was a good thing. <laughs> Can you see yourself ever moving back to California or anywhere else? And that's from Lady Roxy. Shout out to you, boo. You always support. Um, California, no. I don't see myself moving back to Cali. Visit, yes. Moving, unless I hit the jackpot and can move in the rich people area. Well, no, because police be killing people. But uh, I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm. I just want to go visit and come back home sometime. California, no. And the only reason why I say that is because I have boys. It's not about so much of my daughter, even though I'm. I watch her like a Hulk because of the body she got at 10. But my sons, I, I just, mm -mm. The, it, you have to go through too much. You have to go through too much of, of just walking down the street, trying to go to school, shit like that, that I don't really want my sons to go through. And I know that they will go through that being in California. So I have no desire. Um, Anywhere else, somebody else asked that question too. Yes. Um, a lot of people trying to get me to move to Atlanta, but then I keep thinking of my boys <laughs> getting caught up in the life of being a trap nigga. No, not going to happen. So, um, I don't know. Vegas is my spot for right now. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have been trying to get me to go to Atlanta, trying to get me to move with them to Atlanta. Like my friends like, girl, we going to move to Atlanta. You should come. Deuces. Peace out. I'll come visit. I, no shade to Atlanta. I just, I just be scared for my kids. Um, so if you know some good places like areas in Atlanta that you can recommend, I can look them up and Google and search, and then I'll think about it. I'm just saying. Um, but in the other city, no. A lot of people, you know, my kids' family, they want me to move back to Texas, and I don't know. I don't, I don't see it happening. <laughs> Visit, yeah. What is the biggest challenge on YouTube by Raphael Hardwick? He has a YouTube channel. Check him out. I have checked out his videos, so check him out on YouTube. Um, my biggest challenges on YouTube is not having the right lighting and the equipment. But as far as anything else, I have no problem um with YouTube whatsoever. Sometimes I do have a problem with they taking too long to upload my videos when I be like, it ain't that damn long. But that be like my internet connection. But sometimes it be YouTube. But I have no problems. Besides my lighting and my equipment, I have no problems with YouTube. Um, Number three, how, <laughs> how drunk do you think I would get if I join you at the Blackout in Atlanta later this year? My girl, Jazzy. Jazzy, you don't need to go nowhere to get drunk or no drunker than you get when we here in Vegas. But I believe that you, I'm saying, we going to have a very, very nice time. I really plan on getting wasted. I plan on turning up. I plan on just having a good time. So, Jazzy, you will have a ball when we get to Atlanta. Just make plans. Um, and she also wanted to know what her messy is. <laughs> she messy. 
she said I could plead the fifth, but I wouldn't do that. I don't give a fuck. Um, how many Vegas artists can actually stand by what they rap about? So fucking messy. I, <laughs> um, Misfit, I, I will say Misfit, will she rap about exactly what she say, um, she true to it. She true to Vegas. She too true to her craft. So Misfit is one that I can't truly, truly just say, hey. Um a lot of these people in Vegas artists, they just live here. I'm just saying. Um <laughs> I'm just gonna say misfit for right now because I don't want nobody to get offended or say, Oh, you shouted him out and you didn't shout these motherfuckers be so on team somebody right about now that I don't really wanna say nothing. But everybody out here grinding. I can't say that. It's a lot of people need to work on their craft. They need to work on their um, stage perform uh, performance. But, hey, I'm doing this shit in my room. So, <laughs> I can't knock with what they doing. I just say try harder. But, Misfit is one definitely I can say. Oh, Sutton is also another female out here. Um, I don't play the race card because I just see her as Sutton, Elizabeth Sutton. That's all I see her as. But a lot of people will probably p compare her to like Iggy because she's a white girl. She's a rapper. But I don't see her as that. I see her as a female MC out here grinding and doing her thing. So I will say like Misfit. Um, rappers. Who else? Dino the Don. Is out here grinding. I love. I. I. I mean, he. He hard to me. Um, Train Scholar is also hard to me, and he. He's another person that actually is rapping about something. You know what I'm saying? So I can't knock Train Scholar. Um, it's a lot of people out here that's grinding. So I don't really want to throw out names. Um. <laughs> anyway, that shit gonna probably get me in a lot of trouble. Anyway. Um, oh, Freeze is out here. Don't, I, I won't sleep on Freeze, because Freeze is dope. Um, Bobby Bon Jovi is dope. I can't even sleep on them artists. Even though Freeze don't really be out here, um, performing or nothing. But if you check his shit out, it's called P. Dot Freeze on, like, YouTube and his ciphers and battle raps and stuff. He dope. He dope. Um, let me move on if I get myself in trouble. What else? <laughs> she gonna get mad, I'm telling y'all. Who are your top six female rappers and <laughs> six and top six female R and B singers? What YouTuber? Oh, let me let me start things down because it's two questions. And this is from Two the Point TV. I watch Two the Point TV. Love the love your channel. So you know I watch you. Um, watch every video y'all put up. Like you put up like. I'm the type of person, if I'm subscribed to you, I watch every video you put up. It might, I might not subscribe. I might not like it. I just probably could not be trying to hurry up and watch everybody. And also still have to watch what I have to watch and record and stuff like that. So, everybody, if I'm subscribed to your channel, I watch your videos. Um, but let's go with, because, oh, let me just say that. Who are your top six female rappers? Let me see. Number one, always the brat. I love the brat. Like, she dope to me. Um, Trina also is dope to me. Eve, um, I have to go with my local artist, Misfit. I think she dope. Um, Lil' Kim. I'm, I'm, I'm a Lil' Kim fan. Um, and what's another female rapper? Because I don't... A female rapper. Hmm. A female rapper. I would say probably Queen Latifah. I, I think Queen Latifah is dope as an artist, like, as a rapper. Um, yeah, I'm old school. I like more of the old school artists than the new school artists. And then they don't really promote a lot of female artists really that's dope rappers right now. 
But I'm going to plug in this fit because I think she dope. And I think I can see her, like, on the radio, on everything. Like, I really, really feel like that with her. Um, And my six female R&B singers would have to go to, like, um, Anita Baker. Um, who would I say? Anita Baker... Because, you know, some people can just sing different shit for me. And I'd be like, oh, put me in the mood. So, yeah. Hmm. Anita Baker. Um. Oh, my God. When it comes to R&B, I just. Mary J. Blige. Oh, Mary J. Blige. Not the new one. Oh. <laughs> I like her music. The old shit. Not the new shit. You know, she was covering a lot of people. Um, who else? Stephanie Mills can sing her ass off. Um, let's see. Stephanie Mills. Fantasia. I love, people don't like Fantasia, but I love Fantasia. I, her first album, I can play that shit back to back, back to back, back to back. I love me some Fantasia. Um, who else? <sighs> See, I, 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 I think I be listening to more guys than girls. I don't know why, but I do. Um, who else? Minnie Rippleton, oh my god, y'all don't know. See, I'm so old school, y'all probably don't be knowing what I be talking about. So, if you're trying to think of people that y'all probably know, um, and last, I probably would say, I don't listen to a lot of females, but guys, and then they words, I'll be like, oh, um, I know y'all like, damn. Um, Kiki White. Kiki, I, I will fucking play the shit out of Kiki White. Oh, my bad. See, y'all, I, then I start thinking about people. Jill Scott, I will play the, f man. Cruising, I, that's a ringtone of mine. So I don't know why, just a ringtone, but I love Jill Scott. Okay, let me finish going. Okay, what YouTubers is the same person? What YouTuber or YouTubers inspire you or you just watch a lot? Ashley Miller, I watch. I don't give a fuck if she got on here for 30 seconds. I'm going to watch her video. Um, Mike B also inspires me. Um, Who else? Oh, God. See, I didn't even write no names down. But, yeah, Ashley, Mike. Be um who I watch every like I said I watch everybody I'm subscribed to, but Ashley and Mike B like really inspires me to do more videos and all that time and stay consistent with my videos and stuff like that. So yeah, I would have to give it to them. Um, who else? Uh, I ain't for the name YouTubers because people be getting their feelings. Anyway. Moving on from that, thanks. Shout out to To The Point TV. Um, how many Vegas... Oh, no, I read that one. Will you be attending the Blackout this year at AT, in ATL? And that's by Nate Robinson. Let me tell y'all, I'm a mother of four. And um, <laughs> the way my coins be set up, my desire is to be at the Blackout. I can't make promises, but my desire is to be at the blackout. The way shit been hitting me since December 31st is saying no, but what my heart desire is, I think, what I'm going to do. I don't care if I got to go stay in a cheap motel again like I did last time, even though that Motel 6 was beautiful um, and it was comfortable and stuff like that. So, hey, I wasn't even mad that I told y'all last year they leave the light on for you. I'm just saying. I, I, I enjoy being at Motel 6. I didn't have a problem because I told y'all if they got clean sheets, clean towels, good soap. Well, I take my own soap. Um, I'm there. 
I'm going to make it my business to be there. I'm not buying no new clothes. Well, I'm trying not to. I'm not, <laughs> nothing until it's the blackout time because I'm trying to save everything that I have for the blackout week. And then I'm also, see, things come up. And I'm also trying to get another computer so I can start blogging and stuff more since I got my good camera and I need a good computer. So, that is <laughs> either get me a computer or go to Atlanta. And my goal is to go to Atlanta. So, yeah. Um, it's the, the blackout would be a good experience. You know, for anybody that's trying to get into vlogging, that is a vlogger, that wants to meet great people. I'm telling you, the blackout is something and it's important. It's important. As long as your mindset ain't on no negativity stuff. It's important to be at if this is what you really want to do. Um, so, yeah. No. Okay. Do you ever think of using YouTube as a full-blown career? This is by me crazy 321 Yes. Everybody that's um, be hating on YouTube as a career, that's on you. I like what I do. If I can make this as a career and not have to go make somebody else some damn money at a company, I'm all for it. If I'm, I'm all for building my brand and making my own self money and not somebody else some money and making my feet hurt and be making my blood pressure go up. So, shit, if this will get me where I need to be, I'm all here for it. So, yeah. Thank you, me crazy 321. Um, Cynthia Cook, shout out to you, boo. She wanted a shout out. She she's been riding with me for a minute, and I enjoy you supporting me. Um, I was so like I told you last time, I was so mad that we couldn't link up when you came to Vegas, but we will. Either if you come back here or if I come to Texas, we'll link up. But she said, "How would you eh, wait? How did you end up living in Vegas, and do you love it?" Um, I was tired of paying California prices. California to me is like two to three times higher than living in Vegas. So, yeah, I was like, let me be here where I can still be close enough to my family yet far away from my family at the same damn time. And I can afford it and stuff like that. So, yeah, and this is always everybody's vacation spot. So, I'm already here. I ain't got to do all that. So, yeah. And I love it. I love being here. Um, it, You know, because I keep to myself. I really keep to myself. So, I love it here. Uh, like one or two more questions. Oh, one more. Um, Good detail. This, this goes into the last one. Good details are described with plan for a person that wanted to relocate, that want to relocate to Vegas. What are some of the do's and don'ts that I should know about? And this comes from Yo Folks number three. Uh, Yo Folks three. Okay. When it comes to living in Vegas, you have to have your mindset of if you know that you gonna come to Vegas and be in the casinos all the time. It's if, if them if. You know you a gambler, and you know you can be like, okay, I could just sneak off and go play this $20 here at the casino all the time. Vegas ain't for you. You will be up and out of Vegas so fast if that's your mindset, because these casinos will get your pockets and not think of you later. I'm just saying. i I never been that gambling type, so it's easier for me to be here. Um, I gamble when I'm with my family. Don't don't get me wrong. We play tunk, domino, space, whatever we can to play and make money, dice, whatever. But when it comes to casinos, I be feeling like that shit go too fast. And um, the way my park is be set up, I can't sit in the casino for hours. So, yeah, if you thinking about coming out here because you're going to be close to the casinos, it ain't for you. Um, it. I would suggest if you want to move to Vegas, come out here and spend like a weekend, not even a weekend, come spend a week, like 
Sunday through Thursday. Don't don't get caught up into the Friday part. <laughs> it, it'll show you a different life. But Sunday through Thursday, the rooms are cheap out here. You can probably get a weekly out here for like two hundred and some dollars. And um you can come out here and look. I always suggest because people research over the computer and then when you get out here, it ain't what you thought. Because I did that when I first moved out here. I found a place on Craigslist and it was nice. It was affordable to move in, all that good stuff. But um the neighborhood wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I just looked at it. Oh, it's close to the strip. Let me move there. And it ain't what I thought it was going to be. Even though, I mean, it ain't where, it ain't as bad as what I just moved out of. You know what I'm saying? So, that was cool. But like I say, don't go look on the internet and say, oh, it's close to the strip. So, I'm going to move there. You're going to be sadly and rudely mistaken. I'm telling y'all. People that really live in Vegas don't live close to the strip. And and then it's not Vegas ain't so big where it's you can get to the strip quick. Fifteen minutes from anywhere you live, north side, the west side, the east side, wherever, you can get to the strip in fifteen minutes. If you go to um if you don't have no car, buses, most of the buses run 24 hours. You can get a $5 bus pass, and it will last 24 hours from the time you buy your pass. It don't stop at like 2 in the morning like some cities do. You can do 24-hour bus pass if you don't have a car and go around and look. But you have to be focused on looking and stuff like that. They have a lot of... um second chance apartment buildings where if you have bad credit and you know if your credit was like over like a year or two you know they'll work with you and stuff and the move-in don't be high i've never moved in a place for more than a thousand dollars i've it's always been under a thousand to move in any apartment that i have ever lived in out here houses a little bit more but probably no more than two thousand dollars to move into a nice house out here um it just depends on your employment history, your um, credit history. But a lot of people will work with you moving from, especially moving from another state. A lot of people will work with you. So, um, yeah, I just, Vegas is a really, really good place to live. It's just what neighborhood you choose to live. Um, you got your, you got, it's, to me, it's a melting pot. You got people from everywhere. So it's just the people that you link up with. You can link up with some people that you think are good friends and might be some pimps. I don't know. I ain't never had to come across that. But I do, I have seen it happen. I've been in a club where I've seen some pimps, pimping their girls in the club. I'm just saying. Um, nightlife. Nightlife is fun. I mean, it's really, really fun out here for nightlife. Kids wise, Circus Circus is probably the only really good kids spot out here. Circus Circus, they also have a miniature golf place. In the summer, they have water parks. Um, but it's, I, you know, my kids be involved in like Boy Scouts and, you know, choir at school. You can get them into all kind of things, um, when it comes to schools. Um, you have bucket cut charities out here. They're working with youth out here. You got bully busters working with youth out here. So you got the boys and girls club. So you don't have to worry about your kids getting caught up in certain stuff. That's what I try to do. I try to find kid events and I take my kids to them. Some of them be free. Some of them be like $5, $10 to take your kids to. But it keeps your kids out of negativity. I'm just saying. So, yeah, that's my shout-out and Q&A video. I hope it's not too long for you guys, but I really want to give details about the whole Vegas move. If you plan on moving to Vegas, let me know. I'm here. Um, I ain't got no car, but I'll get on the bus with you. I'm just saying. I mean, hell, y'all know me. I don't give a damn about telling my business. <laughs> but, yeah, um... I do everything on the bus. I take my kids to school. I, I go to work. I go grocery shopping shit. I'm just saying. I just don't go, you know, nightlife. But, hell, if you can do that on the bus and Uber and shit like that out here. 
So I just wanted to give you guys a good video and just really thank everybody that's been right with me, supporting me, um, sharing my videos, liking them, commenting, everything. It's, it's really humbling when you got people to just comment and say, hey, I like your video. Hey, keep doing what you're doing. It's humbling. It's great for me. Especially with this January month and um, the things that I've been going through. It's uplifting to see people to be like, hey, you know, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're doing videos. It's humbling. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all I got. Let me it's 30 minutes long. And I know I still got other videos to do. So, thank you guys for supporting. Follow me on social Media by the ghetto view T H A not T H E. Oh, and I will be having shirts. If y'all made to this last part, I will be having it's all about support shirts. So um I'm getting those made. So if you want one, um hit me up and let me know so I can order them. Um they're gonna be fifteen dollars a shirt. But it's going to say it's all about support. I'm trying to get the logo right on the shirt. And it's going to have my name on the shirt. Um, so, yeah. And you could either get it with my name on the shirt or without my name on the shirt. Because a lot of people don't want to walk around with other people's name. But you will have the it's all about support on the shirt. Because that's the brand that I'm trying to promote. So, yeah. Let me know if you guys want one so I can order them with the guy. And, um... We can see what colors you want. We can talk about it and all that good stuff. All right, peace out.